Are your kids struggling with decimals and long division? Let's take four minutes and really get this handled. 689.7 divided by 11. Okay, so the numerator always goes in the box, 689.7, and here's our 11. So 11s are fun, aren't they? So 11 into 68, that is a 6. 6 times 11 is 66, and we just take the difference. And remember, we put the 6 right above the 1s there. Okay. So I have a 2, and then we are going to drop the 9. So I have a 29. 11 goes into 29 two times without going over. So that is going to equal 22. Take the difference, that's a 7. And then we're going to drop that second 7 down here. 11 goes into 77 seven times. And we have no remainder. Okay, And then we're going to push up that decimal point here. So your final answer is 62.7. So what happens if we don't have a zero for a remainder? Should we take a look at that? Okay. So here's a problem, 1, 2, 6.4, and we're going to divide that by 5. Okay. So 5 goes into 12 two times, 2 times 5 is 10, Okay, and then we're just taking the difference of these two. A lot of times with division it's easy to get messed up because the numbers you're writing them too close or too scrunched. So make everything nice and big and clear. Okay, so you don't make math mistakes that you don't need to go back and fix. All right. Five goes into 26 five times. Five times five is 25. We have a one left over. And we're going to drop that 14. We're going to drop the 4 down to make 14. 5 goes into 14. 2 times. 2 times 5 is 10, and we have a 4 left over. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to add a 0. This will not change the problem. We have zeros here if we need them. Okay, And then I'm going to drop that 0 down to make 40. 5 goes into 40 8 times. 8 times 5 is 40, and now we have no remainder. Okay, So don't forget to push up that decimal point here. My final answer is 25 and 28 hundredths. Okay, so we just keep adding zeros until we get the remainder of, until we get no remainder, and that will finish off the number. Or until we get maybe a repeating decimal, or you just decide, hey, that's enough digits, that's all I need. <laughs> Speaking of repeating decimals, would you like to see one? Okay, how about one-third? Okay, one-third looks like this when you put it in. So we have a one and a three. Okay, <clears throat> so three does not go into one, but it sure goes into ten. So I'm going to put a decimal point there so I remember it's also one. Three goes into, and I'm going to push the decimal point up now, okay? Three goes into ten. 3 times, 3 times 3 is 9, and we have a 1 left over. Here's another 0, let's drop it down. 3 goes into 10 3 times, 3 times 3 is 9, and we have a 1. Let's add another 0, okay, 3 goes into 10 9 times. Anybody seeing a pattern here? All right, so this is going to keep going, like, forever. So we're just going to have 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. So what we do is we will say, here's a 0 in front of here, okay, 1 third equals 0 0.3 bar. And the bar means repeating decimal. Okay? And so this would be your answer. So if this idea of a bar is new, so if I had a number that was 0 0.567, 567, 5, 6, 7. So you were doing division, and this is what you got, and 5, 6, 7 onwards. What you could do is say 5, 6, 7 bar, and then that would be it. Just cut it off there. So it just means the bar is over the part that repeats. So the most important thing to remember when doing division with decimal numbers is it's exactly the same as division with whole numbers. The only difference is you just push up that decimal point when you're doing your final result. 
So very quickly, we have this is 12 and 0. Drop the 5. 3 goes in one time. Minus 3 is a 2. We're going to drop the 7. 3 goes into 27 nine times. Minus 27 is 0. Okay. And we're going to drop the 9. 3 goes into 9 three times, and there is no left over. Push the decimal point up. 125 and 79 hundredths divided by 3 gives me 41 and 93 hundredths. If you want your kids to learn decimals easily without feeling confused or overwhelmed, then I'd like to invite you to register for my decimals class for free. You can register at getmath.net slash decimals.